Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This is actually more of a model instead of an action figure, but this time I am reviewing the Joy Toy Battle for the Stars, the Cult of San Rija, or Riha, Jack. In tiny little English words it says Battle for the Stars, the Chinese here is Jan Xing Chen. Jan is the word for fight. Xing Chen is the word for star. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that quite right, but as those are the three Chinese words there. This is a 118 scale action figure or model. Comes in a nice box. Although I prefer a window box, but there is plastic in this packaging, so we'll see that in a moment. Nice picture on the front here. Here is the top. It says Joy Toy. Here's the bottom. Joy Toy. This side gives us some safety information. This is not a toy. This is a model. Not suggested for anybody under 17 years old because it's very fragile. Keep away from heat. Certainly keep away from little children because it has small parts. Here's some information on this side. Some information about the, this product. Uh, the company name, the address of the company, which is in China, in Beijing, China. And here is the back with some pictures of the action figure. And when we buy these new, it comes wrapped in plastic. I bought it through the mail or ordered it through an online store. There's some rattling, so I had to check it out immediately. And here it does come with some plastic which is good it provides some protection for the figure comes in a plastic tray uh, two layers to keep all of the accessories in the box and it comes with this paper it says joy toy and here it gives us a picture of the figure on this side shows us how we can take it apart or how it's expected to be taken apart and put together um, some suggestion if it breaks then we can try to glue it back together and that should uh, fix it so I'll take a look at the figure in just a moment here are the accessories we get with Jack we get a machine gun looks like a Tommy gun with a drum nice little bit of painted detail there on the drum nicely sculpted now this is a model and not a toy so this is not pliable plastic it's a pretty uh, rigid stiff kind of plastic so if you try to bend it it will break so we don't want to bend it we have a pair of gripping hands very small hands for 118 scale action figure so looks like these have a hole here to plug into the peg in the arm here's another little gun has a blade attached to the bottom of it there nicely sculpted and painted and it's a rigid stiff plastic so it will not bend and then we have a sword some post-apocalyptic wasteland future kind of sword so not sharp but it certainly looks pretty cool and again it's not a pliable plastic you don't want to try to bend it but nicely sculpted and nicely painted so a nice set of accessories that go along with Jack here is Jack. Let's see how tall this action figure is. Go ahead and do the tape measure. Looks like about four and one quarter inches tall or about 11 centimeters tall. So it's a little bit taller than some of the other action figures, but it has a mohawk. Very nice mohawk there. So there's a mask nicely uh, sculpted and lots of details painted on the mask we can see 
his ears there on the side and looks like his uh, flesh is exposed so he's a bit dirty so I suppose people are, tend to be a bit dirty in the um, post-apocalyptic future desert wasteland kind of environment if that's where you're supposed to be kind of looks like it though um, here's a, a vest it's a it's a hard plastic in order to put the vest on the arm has to be taken off and it is possible although I haven't tried it yet we have a robotic arm here lots of sculpted details just a little hand here's a, a human arm here and there's the hand that has a little trigger finger now this is a very thin piece of plastic so we want to be very careful when we touch the uh, trigger fingers uh, because those would very easily be uh, knocked off here's a belt it's an extra piece that's put on after uh, or before the body is assembled nicely sculpted legs here here's a holster for a weapon some sculpted details on the leg the knees and uh, shin guards spikes around the shin guards and spikes on the boots peg holes on the heels some sculpted details on the bottom of the feet there we can see the lines where there's a toe articulation there and the sculpted and painted details continue on the back so I appreciate the attention to detail lots of details everywhere on this figure and even on this um, extra vest in the belt so they've done a very nice job on this figure so let's take a look at the articulation so we can look up and look down and turn side to side there's head tilting very impressive now I'm being very careful because this is a model and not an action figure not a toy so we'll just be careful with the joints with the shoulder and go up that much okay only that far not very far and go around so that's working now right out of the package it was a bit stiff when there was some uh, cracking sound but that's just uh, the paint or the plastic uh, being moved after being in a package for a while now we want to look carefully at the joints before we start bending them just to make sure we're bending them the right way so we have single jointed elbows on both sides so that is working and then there's a swivel at the elbow so that is working and at the wrist we can turn the hands so that is working and I think it's a ball joint so we can move it around just a little bit yeah just a tiny little bit I don't want to push too hard so I'm not sure there really is a ball joint there but I think we can adjust the wrist just a little bit now we have a diaphragm cut here so we can crunch forward just a tiny bit and we can turn at the diaphragm cut there go side to side just a little bit at the waist we can turn we can twist at the waist but it looks like a ball joint so we can crunch forward quite a bit at the waist 
move back go side to side all the way around so a lot of articulation there so there's a ball joint there at the hips you can do the splits there and kick forward just that much on this side so we can't move up very much and kick back a little bit this side yeah we can kick up more and kick back just a little bit now there's no upper thigh cut there but if we twist the leg just a little bit um, it's moving at the joint in the hip there so that will turn just a little bit at the hip so we don't want to push too hard and we have double jointed knees so that is working and that is working there we go so those are pretty good so I'm being uh, slow and careful here because it feels just a little bit fragile as a model there we go now there's no boot cut on this now with the ankles we can point down just a little bit go up a little bit more and we do have a little ankle pivot so just a little bit and this one's a little better now with the toe articulation I have not been able to get the toes to move we can see we can see the line where the two different plastic pieces are put together but I just haven't been able to get it to move and then there's some sharp spikes there so I'm not too worried about the toe articulation but it'd be nice if all the parts worked properly so it's a very nice looking action figure and most of the joints are working for me it does seem to be just a little bit pigeon toed and there's no boot cut no upper thigh cut so it's a little hard to get the toes to um, get pointed the correct way but let's see if I can get him to stand so, very nice looking action figure there. Here is Jack next to a pair of four inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. And it looks like Jonesy and Jack fit in together pretty well. Um, looks like they could be in the same universe. So I'm happy to be able to make some match characters that um, fit in together. Here is Jack next to a 6 inch action figure on the left, the Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares, and a 7 inch action figure on the right, the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. And it looks like Jack would fit in pretty well with the 6 or 7 inch scale, assuming that the 6 or 7 inch figure is meant to be a giant or a monster. The Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for Jack is this action figure model is okay. It's pretty good. Most of the joints are working for me properly. The toe joints didn't work at all, but I'm not too worried about the toe joints. As long as I can stand the figure up, then I'm happy. And it looks like the weapons fit in the hands. Um, I have not switched to hands yet, but I think one of the other hands it has a tighter grip, so the sword 
would not be as loose in the other gripping hand as it is in this this particular gripping hand so that's why we do get extra hands so that uh, some of the weapons fit better but I like how the figure looks and the other joints are working this one did not feel quite as fragile as Eile maybe it's a bit thicker so I'm happy about that so as long as we're gentle this action figure should hold up so thank you for watching my review Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this figure, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.